guys, so welcome to Epoch Fitness Online Studio for today's strength and agility high intensity uh, session. So you need a set of dumbbells, water, towel, as per usual. Remember, we're going to get into the mobility work and then going to push your body into that metabolic conditioning zone. Uh, to start with, just stand up. Let's loosen up the body. First 10 minutes, 7, 10 minutes is all about just getting it all going and then we're just going to go. So standing tall, loosen up, shake off your arms, shake off your legs, just nice and relaxed posture. And then you're going to take a nice deep breath and exhale, roll your body down. Let, remember, vertebra by vertebra, strategic articulation of your spine to take your time, and then walk forward all the way until you're nice and straight. As you come out, we're gonna give it a little bit of a shoulder tap. So you're gonna go one to one side, two to the other side, and then walk your arms back in. From there, gently roll up, reach your arms to the ceiling, and then just enjoy that nice, extension through the back. It's not very deep, just through the upper back. And then open the arms, and again, roll down. Let's go, steady. Walk forward, extend. Set your shoulders, tap one, tap two, walk back in, let's go. Slowly roll up, reach, and again, a nice little extension. Back, back, back. Come down, <clears throat> let's go again. Walk forward. There we go, keep your core tight when you tap. One, two, walk back in. Let's add a little bit of a squat after the extension. So you lean back, straighten, drop as low as you can, come back up and then roll down. Let's go for it. All right, this time round, you're gonna bring your feet together and you're just gonna bring one knee to one elbow and don't kick it, reach it. See how far you can open the hip, then down, then the other knee to the other elbow, back down, and then tippy-toe your feet towards the palms to stretch your legs from the other end. Come right in, slowly roll up, reach your arms to the top, slowly bring it down, roll to the floor. Once your arms are on the floor, walk all the way back out with your feet, and then again, knee to one elbow, back, knee to the other elbow, back, and then with your head nod, you walk yourself back into the top. All the way, gently soften the knees, roll up, reach up to the ceiling, extend, back down. Let's go one more time. Roll, 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 touch the floor, tippy toe your way out until you're lengthened. And let's go again, one knee to one elbow, the other knee to the other elbow, now keep your feet slightly wider as you tippy toe back in. So you want to end up with your feet slightly wider than your hips. Gently roll up, reach your arms, and now straighten. Keep your arms just in front of your chest like so, and focus on a slow but deep squat. So you're going to keep your body vertical, try to sit, and this is not about, basically this is about your bum going to the ground to open the inner portion of your thigh. So you drop and then slowly lift. This, like, don't look at it as an exercise. This is more like a stretch mobility work. Get a little lower, come up, just three more times. If you feel like you're falling backwards, extend your arms forward a little bit more, and then back down. Let's go, two more. Inhale, lower. Remember the weight stays on your heels. If you're lifting your heels, curl your toes to the ceiling. Let's go, one more time, drop. Now, I'd like you to hold this position for a second and then bring your fingertips underneath your toes and use your elbows to push outwards so that you feel even deeper stretch through those inner thighs. See some nice deep squats. I wish I could squat that deep. Shoulders back. Now, without letting go of your feet, exhale. Lift your butt to the ceiling. Bring your chin down. Stretch the back of the legs. Inhale, get your butt back down to the ground. So nice and low, chest up. Let's go another four times. Exhale, bum up, head down. Inhale, low as you can. All right, here we go, three more. Exhale, lift your bum to the ceiling. Inhale, bring your back, bum back down. Twice more. Exhale. Inhale. One more time, let's go. Exhale, bum to the ceiling. 
Inhale, bring your bum back down. Now, as you hold this bottom position, place your palms down on the floor, step one foot back, doesn't matter which foot. You step all the way back and then rotate towards the front knee. So you open up and reach. And then instead of reaching the other way, instead of doing this, I want you to bring the elbow as close to the floor as you can, on the middle of your foot on the floor. Then again, reach up and then focus on going nice and deep with that elbow to the floor. Three more, up, bring it down, down, down. Two more, all the way up, all the way down, closer, elbow closer to the floor. One more, up, and down, down, down. Now from here, you're gonna keep your palms on the floor, and then you're gonna to return to that squat position. So you step the foot forward, get yourself nice and low, just for a second, and then palms back down, and your other foot steps back. All right, same as before. You open up to the ceiling, try to stack your palms into a nice straight line, and then bring the elbow down to the floor. Again, up, down. You can reverse your breath if you prefer. Just make sure that on the exhale, you're always trying to brace your stomach as we do in all the core and Pilates work. Two more. Let's go, reach. Back down, down, down. One more, up, reach. And then down, down, down. Hold it, and then palms back on the floor, and you're back in the same squat position. Here we go. Just there, three, two, standing up tall. From there, feet together like before. Bring your head down, roll vertebra by vertebra. Let's go, roll down. Touch the floor, tippy toe your way out until you're on all fours, just like that. Super easy. Fingertips, one arm by temples. Down, one, elbow touches the wrist. Lift up. Again, down, lift. Five on each side, so let's go three more repetitions. Comfortable. Two more, up, down, one more. All the way up, all the way down, swap. Other palm, and let's go five. One, open, two. Now I want you to not just go through the motions, but feel your body. Right now you're doing spinal rotation. You wanna create that nice fluidity through the rotational pattern of your spinal column. One more time. Down and up. Return the palms back down. Now we're gonna go for that superman extension or superwoman extension. Let's go one arm, opposite leg, lengthen. Then your elbow touches the knee and then you extend again. Let's go. Touch, extend three more times. You're not alternating. You're staying on one side. Two more times. Down, up, one more time. Down, extend, and swap. Let's do this. Again, lengthen. Elbow to the knee. Lengthen. Elbow to the knee. Three more times. Two more. Reach, back down. One more. Reach. Back down, almost there, almost the fun part. Arms down, lay down on your stomach. Let's do that extension through the upper back. So, arms almost in front of you, elbows slightly ahead of your body, head down, and you lift your upper half of the back. So you lift here. It's not cobra stretch, it's like 50%. You're not here, just here. Upper back, and then down. Four more, let's go up. Down, three more, lift, lower twice more, up and down, and then one more time. Gently reach, up, come down, palms on the floor, gently come up, from there, stand up tall, and I think we're ready, I hope you're ready. So, feet together, first exercise, super simple, split squats with a little jump, you're going to start with your feet together, and when you're ready, Let's go. So, it's a split squat jump, then you come back to the center. The other side, one, two. One, two, We're gonna give, I'm gonna give you progression on the second round. Until then, nice and simple, you always end up with your feet together and then split. Feet together, split. 
Get used to the movement, making sure that as the knee extends forward, the opposite arm goes forward like you're running. Then together. And as a reminder, remember five exercises, one minute each, mini rest in between to transition. I'm gonna do three rounds. With every round, you pick up the intensity. Now here, once you got the movement, can you go faster? One, two, one, two. 15 seconds. And try not to confuse yourself. You always finish with your feet together. Then the other side. Together, the other side. Steady. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms down on the floor, like so. With your arms on the floor, feet hip width apart. One knee to the palm, so you tap one. The other palm to the other knee, two. Two push-ups, one, two, and then two little hops, forward, back, forward, back, and then repeat, one, two, three, four, hop, back, hop, back, and one, two, three, at your own pace, over the next 30 seconds. Everything's nice and light. Once you got the coordination part of it, then start to speed up. 15 seconds. Remember, you've got two of each. Two taps, two push-ups, two hops. One, two, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up. Grab hold the set of your dumbbells. The dumbbells are held at shoulder height, like this. Easy work. First one, just a squat to press. So you go down, let's go, press. Then while they're holding the dumbbells at your shoulders, you just do a little turn. Jump, 90 degrees, jump. And again, down, press, then 90 degrees the other way. One, two, and press. One, two. Down, press, don't rush. Jump 90 degrees, jump forward, squat, press. Then again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Feet are landing wide, whether you turn one way or the other way. Let's go. Two, and of course, as you get used to the movement, Go faster. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Dumbbells on the floor. Next time, do more. Arms down on the ground. Exercise number four. Let's go nice and simple. Pulse raiser. Go for it. Fingertips open. Go steady. Move. Breathe. Mountain climbers, knees in. Anytime the rest is needed, knees come down, arms shake off. Now, while you're doing this, a lot of things going on. First, keep your neck long. Try not to look down at your toes. Try not to drop your bum to the ground. So keep the body lengthened. Fingers opened, tips of the fingers pushing down just behind your shoulders, just underneath your shoulders, you maintain connection. Guys, this is exercise four out of five. After the next exercise, we'll go straight into the second round. We're gonna push it a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay down on your back with your knees bent, feet flat, arms behind your head, and then on the exhale, you curl like that. Legs up, legs down. Legs up, legs down. You reach your arms between your feet. Let's go, chin down. Nice and steady, reach. So you curl upper body, and you curl the lower body to focus on that flexion, on the stomach work to focus on your hip strength, on that ab endurance, 
25 seconds. If it's too much for your neck, if your neck starts to strain, you can bring one arm behind your head. Otherwise, 15 seconds. Let's go. Steady, breathe, breathe, breathe. 10 seconds, team. Let's go. And after this, straight on your feet and straight into those split squats. Three, two, one, up. All right, version one, starting together. Split, together, split. Together or version two, the horrible one, you split one way and then straight to the other side. So choose, you either wait in the middle before swapping or you go straight. One, two, three. You can start with this version. And when it comes too much, then by all means swap. The key is to keep moving. What I don't want you to just stop and not do anything. So let's go. Breathe. Breathe, let's go. 30 seconds. Try the split version. Go back to the standard version. All right, 20 seconds. Just make sure you're landing soft. Make sure you're opening the knees. You're not like this. Nice and tall. Knees wide. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Arms down. Straight line. Not even time to catch your breath. Let's go. Palm, knee. Palm, the other knee. Two push-ups. One, two. Two jumps. One, two. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you continue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. Steady. What am I doing? One, two, three. 30 seconds. Four, five. Continuing. Steady. Core stays tight. The key is quality of movement. So if you need to slow it down, 15 seconds. Remember on the way up, you're still engaging your core. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Dumbbells. Let's go. So you know the drill. Squat to press, hop, hop. Three, two, one, go. Down, up, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. One, two, jump, jump. And it's about coordination as well. You want to jump 90 degrees, not drifting off to the side, ending up facing the wrong direction. Try not to turn back on yourself. 30 seconds. <clears throat> Down, press. Hop, hop. Remember, when you do the hop with the dumbbells on your arms, keep the dumbbells from hitting your shoulders. Maintain tension on your arms, on your biceps, as you continue. Eight seconds, let's go. 90, 90, down, up, one more time. 90, 90, down, up, perfect. Cardio, if you hadn't enough yet, arms down, extend, set up, fingertips down, go. Four, five, steady as you are, breathe, get comfortable, relax your neck, but keep the shoulders set back. Easier version, both arms down, both feet down, alternate, 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 alternate. Otherwise, you're either running or you're running faster. So, half a minute. Let's keep it moving. Remember to drink water when you need it. 20 seconds. Resting wrists whenever those wrists need resting. 15 seconds. Shouldn't take more than a second or two to shake off those arms. Last 10 seconds. Speed up. 
Then onto the abs. Five, four, go. Three, two, one. Beautiful. On your backs, lay down, feet flat, arms behind your head. Nice deep breath. Go, exhale, lift, come down. Lift, if you can go faster, go faster. Do you wanna make it a little bit more challenging? Then from the top position, just extend. Top position, extend without putting the legs back down. Again, arms can go behind your head if your neck starts to over fatigue, whether your feet are up or down. Let's go. Forward, back. Good news, we only have one round to go, and this should be the strongest round, okay? Remember, standard version. Harder version with your legs extend, easier version, just keep your feet on the ground. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. All right, game phase, guys. Come on, last round, 100%. Don't leave anything for anyone. It's you, your body, let's go. Drop, drop. Even if you do the easier version, pick up the pace, get the squats a little bit lower, make sure the body stays as vertical as possible, an easier variation. Step back, step up. Step back, basically it allows you to keep moving. From there, progress to the hop. And then from there, you can progress to hopping throughout. So you go from this side, swap this side. This side, this side. This is the toughest one. Let's just get it out of the way. And it's the last time you do this today, so let's go. 15 seconds. Let's go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, still going. Perfect, arms down, legs back. Tap, tap, push up, push up, hop back, and four, three, two, one. Let's go, one, two, three, four, hop, Hop. Nice work. One, two, three, four. We'll help one way. One more time. And go. One. Try to alternate shoulder uh, knee taps if you can remember. So it's not the same side all the time. All right, here we go. 25 seconds. Twenty guys, I can feel it. Let's go. Sweating, challenging, wanting to stop but not stopping. Let go. Eyes on you. The whole world is watching. Let's go. Twenty twenty two Olympics. One more time. Up. Dumbbells. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'm ready. You ready? I hope you're ready. I'm not really ready. Let's go. Three, two. One, down, squat, hold the dumbbells firmly, hop, hop, down, press, hop, hop, down, press, hop, hop, 15 seconds in, piece of cake. The amount of time we've got left until the end of the workout, there's not enough for you to put a kettle on. So let's go, and press, use the power of your legs to propel the dumbbells up, press, one, two, down, press, one, two, every time you come up, clench your bum, so you drop, then your butt tight, jump, jump, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more, two, one, when you're ready, Mountain climbers, let's go. Dumbbells down, five, four, three, two, one, go. 
So pace yourself or don't pace yourself. No more mountain climbers for today. Shoulders stay set. Any tension near the top of your neck, just stop and relax. Keep the core connected. Basically, don't let it all hang out in the breeze. Steady and controlled. You need a break, you take a break. Like myself, shake it off. Then go, 25 seconds. Faster pace if you can. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Together, team. Love the effort, come on. Last 10 seconds. Now we're definitely not stopping. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Transition. Down, back, feet down. Arms behind you. Three, two, one. Go. One. And down. Remember, three variations. At a standard, you can keep your feet down. So you just lift. The one I'd, I'd rather you did is the one where you lift your feet and your knees up towards your shoulders. And then if you're feeling badass, like a Terminator, even if it's for one repetition, extend the legs as you go back, come up. Extend, come up. 30 seconds. Down, reach. Down, reach. Let's go. 25 seconds. Do you need a support for the back of your neck? If you do, again, one arm behind your head and go. 15 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. All right. Take a breather. Just relax. Catch your breath. All right, with your feet flat like so, knees and feet a little bit wider than your hips. So just wider than your body, arms outstretched like so. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, both knees to one side. Inhale to the center. Exhale, both knees to the other side. Breathe in to come back to the center. Two more times in each direction. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, center. The other way, exhale. Center, one more each way. Breath out, breath in. The other way, breath out, breath in. Turn on the side like this, like you're sleeping, but not as nice. Knees together, feet together, one arm behind your head. Extend, open one, but keep your knees together. Down, open, down three more times. Close two more times. Close one more time. Turn to the other side. Same again on the other side. I'm just gonna switch my position. All right, so arm behind your head, knees together, feet together, open. One, just a nice rotation, don't force it. Just trying to get back into that open fluid movement through the body. Three more, open, close. Two more, open, close, and then one more time. Open out, and then when you return, put the palm on the floor, like that, come up on all fours. You are here. All right, knees down. Uh, feet down, palms down, cat stretch, three times, exhale, round, inhale, hold, exhale, reverse, inhale, hold, exhale, round, breathe in to hold, exhale, reverse, and then one more time, let's go, exhale, tuck in your pelvis, belly button in, hold it to breathe in, exhale, reverse, Shoulders down, neck long, back to a neutral position. Walk your palms to your feet, to your knees. Sit back on your toes, feet together, head down, back rounded. Nice curl through the body. Deep breath. Exhale, slowly straighten your legs, putting your feet flat. Keep your knees slightly bent, relax your arms, and bring your chin 
down towards your chest so that you can comfortably look between the knees behind you. Let your head hang completely loose, pulling on the muscles of your neck slightly. You turn your head side to side. Four. Three. Two. One. Gently back in. Soften the knees. Roll up as your arms reach above you and behind your head. Lean back. Open the arms, let them drop. Shake off your arms, your legs, give yourself a hand. Guys, thank you for joining me for this morning's high intensity session. Have a fantastic day. Hope we get some stretching today, a little bit more walking. Otherwise, see you soon.